makes it, uh, which makes for a very fast ride out there. We started with not too much breeze right now, maybe uh, five to seven, but it built up to ten to twelve, and we really got it going on a plane. You can see you've got the two hiking straps that go back down the center, and when you have your ankles hooked under there and your knees going over the side, it's really ergonomically comfortable. If you've got just your single main sheet going. Um, and all the lines here, you can see it lead aft just to control your spinner curve that'll come at the front. This boat was designed by Vlad Mirnikov, who was also the designer of the Whitbread boat, the CCs. And just last year, they started working on a project called Speed Dream. The idea of this boat was to be the miniature one-man version of Speed Dream. Now, I haven't sailed Speed Dream, but just for my time out there today, I can tell you this is a pretty sweet ride. So I'm excited to see where they go with this project. A couple other things about this boat. Uh, as you can see, it has this pretty gnarly wave-piercing bow. Now, we didn't have quite enough wind to really take advantage of that, but our friend Bill Lynn from Atlantis Weather Gear was out earlier this week, and we've got footage of him absolutely piercing through the waves. And he said he kept on feeling like he was going to tumble over forwards, but he would just kind of pierce through and get back up on a plane and keep going. Uh, we've also heard that a lot of the guys testing this out for the first time will capsize simply because it's so tippy. I myself had the proud experience of capsizing on this. And I'll tell you what, it was really easy to get back up. Because it's so light, you just kind of prop yourself up on that dagger board, jump right back in, and you're, uh, you're off and going again. One thing about the kite, it's very simply run, again with the idea of being able to do this all by yourself. You can see it slips back into this bag. Uh, you've got the head that goes up on a halyard all the way to the front, and everything is let out. So really just with your one set of hands, you should be able to set it, douse it, and maneuver it just like you would a gym. I could see this boat really taking off among a crowd that wants to do some super athletic sailing. Uh, even just coming in today, you can feel that it takes a little bit of getting used to it. You're not going to jump on this boat and be professional the first day. The tacking isn't quite like anything you've done before, and it definitely takes some athleticism to do it well. But I can see as a class builds, as people discover this boat and get into it, it could be something that could bring out a lot of super athletic sailors.